Acts chapter 10 verse 47. Holy Spirit for them you and me. I'm sure you know the background. This is Acts chapter 10 where Peter miraculously gets into uh, the house of Cornelius. He shares the gospel. Gentiles received it. While Peter was speaking and they trusted in the words of Peter, the Holy Spirit fell upon them and they started speaking in tongues and prophesying and worshipping. Let's look at some of those early Christians. The Holy Spirit came upon them and something happened to them. The first one, Barnabas. Barnabas, when he was touched by the Holy Spirit, he became an encourager. Courageous people to stand firm and grow in the ways of God. Second one, Stephen. There was great wisdom and spirit that people couldn't stand in front of him. Another usher, Philip. The Bible says that miraculous signs and wonders were happening through this one man. The demons were cast out. God gave him unusual stamina. Also preached the gospel. Another person, Paul. What happens the first time he experienced the coming of the Holy Spirit? There was no fear. There was no shame. He started sharing about Jesus Christ to everybody. Even in the faith of rejection, there was the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Another disciple that is Peter. Peter was a fisherman and he walked with Jesus. He saw so many miracles but many times he failed. He was walking on the water with Jesus Christ but then he suddenly got scared and he started sinking. You know, he said Jesus, I will go with you but at the right moment he betrayed. Even after all the things, he was hiding inside the room afraid of the Jews. When he was filled in the Holy Spirit there was a change in the personality There was a different perspective that came upon him. Boldness. Unusual compassion towards the lost. There was oneness among all the disciples as they came together. You know, miracles, signs and wonders and healings. And even in the midst of persecution, Peter and all the other disciples were able to endure it with great gladness. Some convictions that were so true to him. Peter, the first one is, each one of us are chosen by God and sanctified by the Holy Spirit. The second, ready to be open to God. Allah to the prompting of the Holy Spirit as a living hope inheritance that will never perish and finally that persecution and suffering is part of his calling in the fullness of the Holy Spirit worked in the lives of these apostles can work in our lives also all these convictions are good to sustain ourselves in the heavenly calling there are three actions that you and I have to take the first one sacredness or holiness 1 Peter 1 15 and 16 it is important for each one of us to be holy in all your conduct. Chapter 2 verse 1. Get rid of everything that is trying to malign you. That is displeasing to God. Peter is saying that move away from that. 1 Peter 1 14. Our role model is Jesus himself who lived a holy life. God is checking. Are we ready to pursue the path of holiness for the will of God? 1 Peter 22. The, the Holy Spirit has been given to you and I so that you and I may walk in truth. Hebrews 12 14. To see Jesus Christ one day then you and I have to pursue holiness the second one is submission he submitted to the lordship of Jesus Christ to the commands and the nudgings of the Holy Spirit encourages each one of us to submit to the appointed authorities in our lives he learned it all from Jesus Christ 1 Peter 2 13 to 15 chapter 2 verses 18 1 Peter 3 verse 1 now here you see that submission is an attitude submission to the authorities pleases God 1 Peter 2 21 to 23 Peter the one who walked with Jesus Christ says emulate Jesus Christ. Third and the last one is service. 1 Peter 4, 9. Serve one another without grumbling. 1 Peter 4, 7 to 11. Because you know that the time is near, what do we do? With all the gifts, we will serve one another so that the name of God is glorified. Ephesians 4, 11 to 13. All these offices are given so that each one of us will be equipped into the purposes of God. Because there is an earnestness to serve. Romans 12, 6 to 8. Along with the gifts, God has given you the grace also how to operate it. Because when a gift is given, much is expected out of you. You're supposed to walk with the Holy Spirit. Let's see what happens if you don't listen to what God says. Hebrews 2, 3 and 4. Many people are drawn towards the Lord and established in the word of God because of the gifts that has been given to people and its manifestations. God will use your gift so that people will be turned towards salvation. It has a higher cost. Now if you are not following that, then you and I will be answerable to God one day. As a church, we want each one of us to be flowing with the river. You know, wherever this river goes, there is life. In Isaiah chapter 35 verse 8 says, there is a way of holiness 
us. And in that each one of us have to journey. At least these three things have to be so close to our hearts. That Lord help me to separate myself from all unholiness. That I may walk in sacredness. That Lord I want to submit myself to God and godly authorities Lord. I want to serve you and your people. Without grumbling. In the measure that you want us to be flowing Lord.